got your own locks, key for these. I have the orders. Okay, so the first thing you want to do when you check a machine, you want to set everything to free and you want to make sure that you check and see if every coil spins correctly. In this case, as you can see, all my coils are working. When I pulled up to the machine, the man did not have a lock for it, which is not a red flag, but it does mean you have to buy new locks. He's going to explain to you why he did that. Um, you want to check the coin mechanism and also the bill validator too. So make sure you bring some coins with you and dollar bills to make sure that it does accept everything. And you know, you don't have to buy new parts or have a surprise whenever you set it on location. Yeah, so here he's telling me about a light that's in the machine. He's just let me know pretty much, you know, he wouldn't transport it with that light in there. Uh, I have a five row machine that I bought before this one. It didn't have a light in it, so this was new to me. So he's taking the light out for me right now and showing it to me. Uh, these lights cost about seven or eight dollars, so it's not a huge loss if you lose it, but you know, you could save some money and use that on something better. And that's the thing about being in the vending business, doing vending machines. It's like every dollar that you save could be used on something uh, from gum, chip, anything. And this here fits all my machines. I had to take that lock out because this fits all my machines. See what I mean? Yeah. I can't give you my key because they'd be like, give me a key to all my So as you can see, my man standing on me, you know. We about to get ready and take this machine up off of his trailer. You know, he just told me he had 500 machines. That's what I'm trying to get to one day. Maybe not 500, but I want at least about 50 of them locally, you know, to get my business up and going. That's the goal. I'm at two right now, but I did two in under three months, so. I'm pretty confident with my business and the moves that I'm making. Uh, I know I said in the video, you know, I didn't have no equipment, no pallet jack, none of that. I know y'all looking at this right now like, I thought you said you didn't have nothing. Well, I didn't expect a man to pull up with a pallet jack because my first time buying the machine, I didn't have nothing. That go with my bank bag, you know, Slater made a vending company, you know. Uh, but we just positioning it right now to lay it down on the truck. Now, when I get back home to the city, I don't have any equipment. All I got is me and muscle. So don't think that you do need a pallet jack, which it is important to have one, but it's not impossible. You see, we're leaning the machine on that now. And yeah, I'm gonna let y'all hear it. I done that in a year. I used to have to do them out of the way back when I was younger, but not anymore. I invested one of these in a trailer. So as you can see, that was a pretty tough job right there. It's a heavy machine and a trailer and a pallet jack would be ideal for something like this. You get me everything, huh? <laughs> I was scared. Uh -uh. I heard deep eyes like this and watch between the crates. Excellent Texas, you know what it is, baby. Eating a good barbecue. The rain and outside, dude. I got the truck parked outside with the machine in the back. You know what I'm saying? But we just made a quick pick stop, get something to eat, to head to the crib.
So you know, just pull back up in the city, man. Had a five hour trip. My ass hurt right now, I'm not gonna lie to you. But my cousin Kyrie said, you know. But look, I'm gonna load this thing in here. We're gonna take it off the truck. I'm gonna show y'all how I get down. I know it's ghetto, you know, I ain't got no pellet jack, none of this shit. You know? But just watch me work. Let's get it. Oh, yeah, Mike Post been here. You a sellout, boy. Remember that. No, just yeah, like this. Yeah. It's cool. Slow, 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 slow. So as you can see, I just down there told my tailgate cover off. You know, old man who worked there came my side to come help. Got my cousin, man. I'm pushing my girl holding the door. Now my idea from the jump was to take that door off. Cause I felt like the machine wasn't gonna fit. It's too wide. Uh, this is a random customer. He was trying to help out. Shout out to the community. I feel like there's a reason that I grind so hard because of where I come from, you know. So shout out to them. I hope somebody watching this video, you know, get inspired by this. The man who worked there didn't want to take the door off. He said it was gonna be too much havoc to take the door off. So after about three hours, we finally taking the door off. And you will notice cause it's dark outside. So man, I ain't never had a machine that took this long to put in location. I know I'm the only one, but we did the same thing to my last location, but we did not have to go through a door situation. It was double doors, so we just slid it in there type of deal. This hill was real complicated. It was nerve wracking. It was frustrating. And we was kind of losing hope. You know what I'm saying? I just drove five and a half hours to get this machine. Can't even put it in location, you know? But I'm not easily defeated when it comes down to doing something that I want to do. I'm going to chase it. So, oh. Yeah, this is just going through all this, man. Try and put this machine in here. You see, we finally got that thing up in there, you know what I'm saying? You can tell I'm happy. Smiling hard, boy. All right, y'all, so just finished putting that vending machine in there. Those went unlocked. You know, Mike sell out there. Did pull up and help. I appreciate him. Folks had to take those off, man. Shit was real complicated. But I mean, we got the machine in here. Get this thing filled up. Start our new location. That's all. Like, comment, subscribe. This song. You know I me? Mean? Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate y'all watching my video, man. Comment down below some things that y'all would want to see me do as far as with the vending machine business. I hope this inspires some of y'all to get up and go start y'all business today. And always, man, stay blessed, trust in your vision, and don't give up, man. Always, bro. I'm out.